to this session. Welcome to the fantastic, fabulous, and fantastic session by Vedanta Night and English. My name is Pratesh. I'm your host, your dose, and a proud master teacher from Vedanta. Welcoming you to the amazing session on excretion. That is from your grade ten life processes chapter. The topic excretion that we are going to explore today. So a very warm welcome to all of you guys. Uh, this is some information about I me myself on the screen. It's coming. Just give me a minute. Yeah, yeah. So this is some information about I me myself. You can follow me on Instagram at Pratesh underscore Vidantu. So that's my Insta handle. That is Pratesh underscore Vidantu, where you can follow me and know a little bit more about me. So last time there was a question that what are the three kinds of cells present in our blood? And we got Nivedita Biju Punchail and Uma Rajini who gave the correct answer. So the session was awesome and special. Thanks for solving my doubts. That's what Nivedita says, and she has given us the correct answer. Shri Akshaya has also given us the sec uh, has also given us the answer about the different kinds of cells present in the blood. That is RBC, WBC, and platelets. Now. When I am talking about the process of excretion, it is required to remove the nitrogenous waste from the body. Your body produces nitrogenous waste like urea, and they have to be removed from the body time to time because if they remain in the body, if they are accumulated accumulated in the body, they will cause poisonous reactions in the body. These nitrogenous waste turn toxic, and that is why they have to be removed from the body through different Media, right? Now, biochemical activities of the body are catabolic, which break down the molecules; anabolic, which makes the molecules; and both catabolic and anabolic sum up to form metabolic activities in the body. So, catabolic is break down like glucose breaking down to form energy, and anabolic is formation of molecules like AT, ADP plus IP make ATP. So that is anabolic. And both catabolic and anabolic together make metabolic. Now, here you have got some examples of it. So, carbohydrates break down to give you energy. That's catabolic. And similarly, when ADP plus IP make ATP, that is anabolic. The useful products in the body are ATP and proteins, and the harmful products are carbon dioxide and urea. This carbon dioxide is exhaled out. During exhalation, and that is also a type of excretion. So the excretory organs in your body are the skin, the lungs, as well as the kidneys. Lungs give out carbon dioxide, kidneys give out the urine, and skin gives out sweat and oil. The biological process involved in removal of harmful metabolic waste from the body is called excretion. That is carbon dioxide, sweat, and urine. Carbon dioxide is removed from the body through the lungs. Sweat is removed through the skin, and urine is removed through the kidneys. So, if a question comes in the exam that what are the, uh, you know, what are the excretory organs in the body? So you will write lungs, skin, and the kidney. Lungs, skin, and the kidney are the excretory organs in the body. They are the excretory organs in the body. Okay. Now we move on and we talk about kidney. So kidney is the excretory organ in the body. Mammals, uh, certain uh, amphibians, they all have a set of kidneys. Kidney is the reddish brown organ, which are two in number, presented uh, present on either side of your vertebral column. They are ten to twelve centimeters in size. The outer part of the kidney is called cortex. The inner part, the middle part, is the medulla, and then you have the pelvis. So when I'm talking about the parts of the kidney. I have got outer cortex, middle medulla, and this is your pelvis, right? These are your ureters. This is the renal artery, which is bringing the blood from the heart. This is the renal vein, which is taking the filtered blood to the heart. ठीक है? This is from heart. And this is too hard. ठीक है? Now, I talk about a process called hemodialysis. Hemodialysis. It is a process when the kidneys get infected or injured, or and they are unable to filter the blood. 
The blood has to be artificially filtered with the help of a machine called the dialyzer. And the process is called hemodialysis, that is filtration of the blood. Right? Normally in healthy adults, the, in the initial filtrate in the kidney is about 180 liters daily. However, the volume actually excreted is only a liter or two a day because the remaining filtered filtrate is reabsorbed in the kidney tubule. So, the kidneys produce or create 180 liters of filtrate in a day, but you give out only 1 to 2 liters of urine per day. So, what happens to the remaining 178 liters of filtrate? It gets reabsorbed in the blood. When I talk about the excretion in plants, plants lack an excretory system, but they do excrete as well. For example, shedding of leaves is a type of excretion, right? Plants also give out water in the form of droplets through, through the hydrothodes. Okay? Before we uh, discuss about plant uh, excretion, let me tell you the process of urine formation and certain notes about nephrons. So when I talk about urine formation, so here you have got filtration. First is filtration. So the urine gets, the blood gets filtered and the filtrate is formed in the nephrons. This entire process takes place in the nephrons. Nephrons are the functional unit of the kidney. So first the urine is formed. So first is the formation of the urine. Then it is selective reabsorption. Selective reabsorption. So what happens is, this is your nephron. Okay? The blood comes through here, it goes through this coiled structure called glomerulus under high pressure. It enters the Bowman's capsule, it goes through the PCT, the loop of Henle and BCD. And finally it reaches the collecting duct and forms the urine. So, the process of formation of urine happens in the kidney where there are nephrons which is the fundamental or the functional unit of the kidney. The blood passes through the glomerulus under high pressure. The filtrate is formed. Filtrate moves through the proximal convoluted tubule that is PCT and then goes through the loop of Henle and then goes through the DCT and finally meets in the collecting duct. Now when the filtrate is moving through the PCT, loop of NLA and DCT, if there is any exchange like absorbing water, hormones, amino acids from the filtrate, it happens there. If there is anything that the blood wants to give back to the filtrate like toxins, like harmful products, so it is given to the filtrate and the urine is formed. This urine is in the collecting duct and finally it meets the ureters. The ureters carry the urine to the bladder. Bladder stores the urine and when the bladder is almost half full, that time you get the sensation to urinate. That time you get the sensation to urinate. Right? So that is about your formation of urine. When I talk about excretion in plants, the process goes a little different. They, they excrete different types of with the help of various organs like shedding of leaves, shedding of the bark, gaseous waste. So plants also give out carbon dioxide as a result of respiration, they give out water by the process of transpiration and they also give out water drops through the hydrothodes. Bark acts as a storage organ. Other old xylem stores waste as gum and resin, like asaphotida. So asaphotida, that is hing in Hindi, is a waste product, it's a resin. Gum acacia, that is goat or dink, which we say in Marathi. It is also a excretory product. Roots release waste into the soil around by the process of diffusion. And that is it about excretion. So guys, there is an amazing quiz that we have created on the process of excretion in humans and plants. You will get the link to that quiz in the description below. So there is a link given in the description. Use that link and play the quiz. Also guys, now you can learn with me and your amazing teachers that is Abhishek sir, Hashpreem sir, Amrit sir, Anubha ma'am, Ankana ma'am, 
Amit Arora sir, Shilpi ma'am, Bhavna ma'am, Anup sir. You can learn with all these teachers of Vedanta 9th in English as well as Vedanta 9th in Hindi for just Rs. 8100 if you use the coupon code PREPRO. So remember to use the coupon code PREPRO, buy the Pro Life course and you can learn with these teachers only for Rs. 8100. Also guys, I want you to comment in the comment section below this amazing question that which other organs along with kidneys help to eliminate waste from the body. So which are the other organs apart from the kidneys that help to eliminate waste from the body. Right? So with that we come to the end. Do not forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe to Vedanta 9th and 10th English. It's absolutely free of course. And do share this video with your friends and school WhatsApp groups. I'll be seeing you again really very soon. Till then take care of yourself. God bless all of you. Lots of love. Bye bye.